Hey guys, a very, very, very warm welcome to all of you. I hope all of you guys are super amazing on this wonderful evening. Now I know all of you guys were, you know, thinking where is sir? What happened to sir? What is this sir? Ten minutes late, so twelve minutes late, sir. It's okay. Not a problem. <laughs> Not a problem. Some technical difficulties we were all facing. It always happens, no? When you try to call somebody, the call doesn't go. Sometimes in my phone, when somebody calls me, no, I can't even pick up the call. It keeps on ringing. So, आपके साथ ऐसा क्यों? What to do? Yes, what to do? Fate. <laughs> all right. So again, a very warm welcome to you all. I hope all of you are doing great on this wonderful evening. And also, if you are new here, a very warm welcome to Vidantu Young Wonders and to my class. My name is Mohan, Master Teacher of Science from Vidantu here today. And we are going to be doing what? We are going to be solving NCERT Exampler questions. Question number twenty-one to twenty-five from the chapter Winds, Storms, Cyclones, and this is for Grade Seven people. So what's up? What's happening? Hi Anjali. Hi Nishchal. Hi Danya. Hi Vidantu. Hi Kalesh. Hi Parmesh. Hi Rahi. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hi Sanjana. Hi Dairia. Hi Rohit. Hi Yuvika. Missing you. I'm miss you too. <laughs> is there Menti? Of course. Finally, after a very long time. I thought I'll give you guys Menti, so we do have Menti people right in the session. So do not miss it, do not miss it, do not miss it. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hi Kriti, what's up? Hi Vandi, hi hi hi. Hi Abhinav, hi Dilip. Where are the boys at? Hi Ravinder. <coughs> hi Keep Learning, Shreya. <coughs> yes, we do have Menti. You know, so cool, no? So cool. Hi Sneha. Hmm. Oh yo! All right, we'll start. We'll start. We'll start. Yes, I was going to run away. Thankfully, you came. It's okay. It's okay. I was running far away. Would I? <laughs> All right, cool. So, guys, yes, we'll quickly get started with the class. And I do have five amazing questions, and also super easy menti questions for all of you. So make sure you call up all of your friends right away. And I was also informed by the computer G that your subscription. A lot of you guys are simply coming to my class and not subscribing and going away. You can't go to a hotel, eat biryani, and not pay. No, so nobody is asking you to pay. But click on the subscribe button. Okay, do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. All right. Cool, cool. Yes, again, this was supposed to be at four p.m., but I shifted it to eight p.m. so that I can. I thought I'll have more people, but where are the people at? What are they doing? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? If they are sleeping, wake them up, people. Wake them up. Bulao, bulao. Everybody, call up everybody. <laughs> Sir, bulaya hai. Acha. Bahot achi acha. <laughs> It's a very good thing to do. So thank you so much. All right, start looking at me. Thank you so much. Sorry, ignoring me. Rubicon art with Atiya. Yes, you are ignoring me. Focus on the class. So here we go forward, guys. Yes, here is a beautiful quote for all of you. Believe you can, and you are halfway there. Yes, believe. First, believe that you can do it. I'll. I know half of the uh, problem is already solved. Believe that you can get full marks. You have already got fifty marks. Just fifty more marks. So believe. Believe is everything. Okay. Yes, next one. And all of you guys know, Pariksha series is starting right away. For all of you guys, you'll have live MCQ quizzes, free notes, da live doubt solving. It's gonna start tomorrow, people. So it's gonna be so fun. Do not miss it out on Vidantu Young Wonders. It's free. So just subscribe to Vidantu Young Wonders. That is all you have to do. Right? Out of all of your thousand subscription to thousand gaming channels and thousand drawing channels, subscribe to this also. Because this is gonna help you a lot. Okay, yeah, do it, do it, guys, do it. All right, so let's go. Let's go. Here's a physics meme for all of you. Let's check it out. Oh my God. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> all right. By the way, why is he trying to catch that ladu? You know when he was flying, he he tried to catch the ladu out of nowhere. 
<laughs> my god my god so fun no so fun <laughs> all right let's go if you're there on instagram if you want to follow me on instagram my instagram handle is learn underscore with underscore mohan that is my instagram handle so make sure you guys follow me right there okay huh all right abhi maza aayega na bindu pariksha is coming ha pariksha to is coming maza to bahut aayega theek hai <laughs> first question guys why is chandigarh unlikely to be affected by a cyclone how many of you guys are from chandigarh quickly tell me how many of you guys are from chandigarh in the chat box let me see how many of you guys are from chandigarh come on come on everybody are you guys from chandigarh nope nope yes okay you are aditya is there aditya is there shrishti is from bihar huh? okay cool the question is why why in chandigarh a place where cyclone can affect let's see guys we clearly know that chandigarh is very far from the sea hence it is unlikely to be affected by the cyclone isn't it of course it's very far from the sea and we know that it's towards the bay of bengal and that that you know the eastern coast eastern coast is very vulnerable for cyclones but since chandigarh is like super far away don't have to worry about cyclones okay yes easy question though no second question we'll see it's a little bit difficult whoa to expel hot air out of the kitchen a has an exhaust fan fitted on the window of her kitchen and b has a similar exhaust exhaust fan fitted on the wall near the ceiling of her kitchen which of the exhaust exhaust fan will expel the hot air more effectively why let us check this out let us take the help of you know who it is let's take the help of your favorite my favorite all of our favorite gudu okay so what is happening in gudu's house he has a beautiful house okay a beautiful square shaped house he has a beautiful square shaped house he has now what is he doing he is his there is a gas stove okay gas stove is here he is standing oh that looks weird wait ha <laughs> huh, where is his neck you have been asking me sir where is guddu's neck sir what is this sir okay so we have guddu guddu is trying to make something okay guddu is trying to make something on the kitchen so his his gas is on and he's trying to make something on the pan now what he does he has two exhaust fan one exhaust fan is on the wall here on the side this is one exhaust fan and one exhaust fan fan near the ceiling okay and what was the question asked to us the question that was asked to us was was what yes so in a the exhaust fan is fitted near the window of her kitchen b has a similar exhaust fan fitted on the wall which of the exhaust fan will expel the hot air more effectively explain why it is definitely going to be what going to be the exhaust fan that is there in the on the ceiling why is that check this out guys we all know there is air present everywhere right whenever air becomes hot right when air becomes hot it expands air expands when air expands it occupies more space so we all know that very important warm air dash dash what is it what is it warm air dash dash tell me quickly raises up warm air raises up so all the warm air that's raising up will get collected near the ceiling so the warm air can easily escape through the ceiling ka exhaust fan but not here because even warm air will be all here also no so here it's not that effective not effective but this is effective so good to is happy got it your screen is blur because you are watching my video on 
very low resolution. Please use your 1.5 GB right now. Do not save it to watch serial after the class. Thank you. Okay, next one. Voice is very low. That means, is it really low, guys? <laughs> is it really low? My, is my voice very low? Check, check, check. Is it okay now? Is it okay now? Is my voice low? I think it should be okay now, no? Is it okay? Okay, yeah, cool. Ha, ha. So please increase your volume. Thoda sa. Connect to surround speakers, Dolby Atmos, and hear my audio. Okay? <laughs> All right. So that's why, guys, let's see the answer. The answer for this is definitely what I showed you because I know. Right? Exhaust fan B will, will expel the hot air effectively as air raises up and her fan is at greater height than the ace. Okay? Yeah? Very good. Next one. Question number three. When strong high speed wind blows, an umbrella held upright gets upturned. Explain the reason. Why is that? When, when high speed winds blow, Guys, this has a very, very, you know, easiest answer out of all. What is the answer, people? <coughs> what is the answer for this? Okay, I'll, I'll use this side since my voice is getting low. We all know that high speed winds are always accompanied by, whenever there is high speed winds, they're always accompanied by reduced air pressure high speed winds are always accompanied by reduced air pressure and we can also do an activity to understand that no what is the activity let me take a paper all right so i have a paper right here right let's see what activity we can do so i'm going to start blowing air below the paper see what happens okay If I blow, the paper is raising up, but I'm actually blowing on top of the paper. What is happening here? Let's see. So guys, when I am blowing it, okay, I'm going to erase this. So when I am, when, when Gudu is here, Gudu with his mouth, he's blowing the air to the paper. The paper is right here. Okay, now since there is high speed winds on top of the paper, there is high, there is low pressure. No, Gudu is not looking nice, wait. Okay, Gudu is catching a paper in his hand. And that's a paper, okay, by the way. All right. Now, Gudu is blowing air. So it is high speed wind. There is fast air. So whenever there is high speed wind, there is low pressure. But under the paper, there is high pressure. And we all know Air always moves from high pressure to low pressure. That is why the paper is raising up. It's going up. That's why it's going up. Now, the question was something similar. What was the question, guys? The question was, after Guddu finished his activity with the paper, he took an umbrella now. A beautiful blue color umbrella he took. Okay. All right. Now there is, there is high speed winds above the umbrella, you know, high speed winds. So above the umbrella, what will be the pressure? Low pressure. Below the umbrella, what will be the pressure? High pressure. Air always flows from high pressure to low pressure. So the entire umbrella will become ulta like this up front. Entire umbrella will become how? 
like this okay yes that is the question guys let's check out the answer here i hope all of you understood with my help of this amazing scientific very amazing uh, super good drawing <laughs> all right let's go so that's the answer guys let's see umbrella upturns because of the high speed water high speed wind passing through the umbrella creates low pressure okay it's 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 wind water near wind high speed winds okay yes computer g what is this ha huh. next one suggest some precautions to be taken to prevent the roof of a tin sheet from from flying away during a fierce wind storm so when there is a fierce wind storm right uh, uh, to to prevent the roof from flying away what can we do some mechanical stuff we can do we can put heavy stones on the roof and screw it tight right that is what we can do to keep the roof in place question number 5 in the picture given below okay we have some palm trees uh shows trees along the sea coast on an island near the equator as shown the tree tops are permanently bent in one direction are the trees bent towards the sea or away from the sea explain okay we will see palm trees right or we'll take some you know uh, uh, coconut trees so after traveling you know after traveling for a very long time guddu with a inverted umbrella after crying so much he thought why not why not go to a vacation let's go to hawaii so guddu went to hawaii okay he went to a, a beach in hawaii let's first draw some trees not this also some coconut trees wow please believe that it's a coconut tree okay please believe some coconuts also are hanging okay cool now under this coconut tree what is happening there is gudu chilling you know he there is this uh, this type of seats you have in the beach no so gudu is chilling here he's chilling okay now there is ocean also now which way is the trees bent guys one hint they have given us that it is near the equator hint so what happens in the day time right what happens the it becomes very hot the land becomes very hot and all the hot air raises up all the hot air raises up and it goes towards the sea and the cool air from the sea comes towards the land so basically sea breeze happens guys so obviously the trees all will be bent away from the sea let's see let's see the answer are we right are we right what do you guys think are we right in the coastal regions of an island near an equator heating and cooling of air are regular phenomenon during the day time the land gets heated up quickly compared to the water in the sea the air above the land gets heated and raises up and is replaced by the cool air from the sea giving the sea breeze this sea breeze makes the trees bend towards the land mm. Mm. correct answer okay guys i have seen most of you guys getting confused between sea breeze and land breeze how do you clear out this confusion if you it depends on from where you are getting the cool air if you get the cool air from the sea it is sea breeze cool air from the land it is land breeze okay so wherever cool air is coming from that breeze in the day time it is sea breeze in the night time it is land breeze got it okay here is my weekly schedule guys every monday wednesday thursday saturday so my next class is going to be on saturday 6 to 8 for uh, for all the grades at 5 pm so do join in okay All right. <laughs> great job. Great. Let's go move. Let's go forward now. I hope all of you understood the five questions. Yes. Now all of you might be wondering but sir, then what happened to Guddu? What happened to Guddu after that? As Guddu was enjoying. 
the beach. He was enjoying the sea breeze. Suddenly, there was a shark which came out of nowhere. Oh, I know how to how to draw a shark. Wait, wait, I remember. Yes, H A R K. There was a shark which came like this, and it ate Gudu. Rest in peace. Gone. Okay. Why is my shark looking very bad? Because it's a very evil shark. Evil things looks always bad, no? So that is how it is. All right. Now let's go for the menti, guys. I hope all of you ready for the menti. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want to join our Telegram channel, here is the link. It's t.me/vidantujunior is the Telegram channel. You can join in there, Telegram group. Uh, to get more updates about what is happening on Vedantu Young Wonders. And also here is your GK question. When is the Zero Discrimination Day observed annually across the globe? March 1, March 2, March 3, March 4. Comment below in the chat box right after the class. But now, very, very important thing. You all know what it is. What is it, people? What is it? What is it? The very important thing. What is it? You all know what it is. Very important. What is it? Yes. Right, I am very much sure that your exams are gonna start. Nope. Let's go for the menti. Here is the menti code, guys. It's one three zero three double two five zero is the menti code, and I am gonna start the menti right away. So everybody, join in, guys. Join in. <laughs> join in. Join in. Let's go. <clears throat> I'm gonna hide myself for a second. Yes. The code is one three zero three double two five zero. Yes, no promotion. But then, yes, guys, if you want to join the uh, crash courses which is going on, you can definitely join. The link is right below my video. Also, the link is there in the uh, pinned comments. You can use my coupon code MK Pro and join the course. Okay, so if you're planning to join with Antu for the courses, make sure you guys all use my code. It is MK Pro, uh, where you'll get additional ten percent off from whatever you'll be paying. Okay. Yes. Cool. Oh my God. I think my voice is again low. Low voice. Is it? Okay. Low voice guys. Just hold on a second. Hold on a second. Keep joining the mentee. I'm going to check what is wrong with my voice. Okay. <laughs> hold on. I think now it's oopsie, 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 my bad. Okay, now I think it should work. Check, check, check. I think it should work. Yeah. <laughs> All right, join in right away. The code is 1303-2250. Is it working now? Is it working? Again, it's low. It's still low. Still low, still low. Is it still low, guys? Low? Ayuda, what is this? Wait a minute. Check, 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 check. It should work now. Check. All good. Check, check, check. Now, okay. Ha, huh, good. Shark ate good do. I know. <laughs> He'll come back. Though. He'll come back. <laughs> now it's good. Come on, guys. Everybody joining. The code is 1303-2250. Come on. I want to see everybody joining the mentee right now. And why very less people today? What happened to all of them? Were they also eaten by sharks? Were they also eaten by sharks? Hi, Majestic Palak. What's up? <laughs> what's up? What's up? Okay, I'm going to start in, uh, I know, 10 more seconds. I, I was at least hoping at least 100 will join. But what is this, guys? What is happening? 
where are all, where are all the people vanakam sham vanakam da hi yuvika shrivalli song please yeah yeah <laughs> अमू नाइन एंट्रेंस की प्रिपरेशन कैसे करे यू कैन डेफिनेटली गो फॉर यू नो नाइन प्रिपरेशन कोर्सेज ऑल्सो यू कैन टेक अ फाउंडेशन कोर्सेज ऑन विद आन टू चेक आउट द एंटायर वेबसाइट ओके सो क्लिक ऑन द लिंक चूज योर क्लास द लिंक इज राइट बिलो द वीडियो क्लिक ऑन दैट एंड चेक आउट द एंटायर वेबसाइट सी वॉट ऑल कोर्सेस आर अवेलेबल विच सी विच सूट्स यू एंड टेक द कोर्स यूजिंग द कूपन कोड एम के प्रो ओके ओके मुकुल Okay, I'm going to start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's start the first question. Whoa, whoa! Look at that. We have we have how many of you guys have joined? We have ninety two da ninety three. Seven more people and we'll start. Six more people. Come on, come on, everybody. Join. How to join, guys? Yes, you have to go to www dot menti dot com. and then use the code 1303250 okay so go to go to google type menti.com and use the code 1303250 joined guys okay in 5 4 3 2 1 here's your first question on the screen let's 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 let's. Why is it ninety seven again? Okay, let's go. A fire alarm usually detects smoke in case of fire. So where should such an alarm be placed in a room? Near the door, on the floor, on any wall, on the ceiling? Where should the fire alarm be placed? Come on, you all know it. Easy question. Hey Rahi, good luck, beta. Good luck. All the best for your exams. Do well. Where should it be placed? Come on. Times up. The right answer is on the ceiling. It should be placed on the ceiling because where will smoke go? Smoke is warm air. Smoke always raises up, so it goes to the ceiling. That is where the smoke alarm should be kept. Okay, don't get confused. Let's see the leaderboard. Okay, so we have subscribe to Dark Devil Lemon. Hey, Dark Devil Lemon, what's up? Then we have the mouse. Mouse is again here. Hey, Anshika Rai, what's up? Why are you not there in the chat? Shall I tell you a secret? Yes, definitely. Kirti Singh, did you hack? Ambassador, why not on Saturday and Monday? What do you mean on Saturday and Monday? Saturday, so I have. Why? Why didn't I come? Acha acha. so uh, be, be, because friday i had a session no with navamita ma'am i had like uh, in, during i think it was at 4:30 so since i had on friday i took i, I mean i didn't take it on saturday and monday to i i was sick okay sorry about it then we have vishal albert einstein abhishek m loves you m love you me or somebody else <laughs> rohit maima hi five maima krip 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 kripa who is krip krip then we have kanaya the night bot good job guys here comes the next one here comes the next one acha vijeta classes are going on which class is going on right now <coughs> which is going on question number 2 of 7 let's go storm watches krip krip which of the following place is most likely to be affected by cyclone my final exam in the last week math is too tough and i am in 7th can you please teach me me math yes come on <laughs> subscribe beta subscribe there are so many amazing revision courses going on with on to young wonders pariksha is going to happen but it's it's a revision course and trust me it will really help you all for your exams okay all right it is definitely what puri guys it's puri It's Puri because, guys, Mumbai, Goa, Porbandar, all of this is not in the eastern coast. I told you in the beginning of the class, we talked about eastern coast, which is most likely to be affected by cyclone. Where is Puri? Odisha. So 
it's in the eastern coast right don't get confused so surbhi ma'am's class is going on okay the mouse is at the top very good mouse <laughs> the, the amen is again anshika roy albert einstein saint elmo tanmay prasar after long time yeah where were you all these days did, did the shark eat you manjari saurabhi uh, pv vishwath hi sir hi uh, vishwath tarun seven sir kannada bari tenge what do you mean kannada maatadtini adre odak barala chanage maatadtini hmm happy next question in 3 out of 7 in 5 4 3 2 1 let's go i am late what did i miss you missed a lot of things odisha was hit by a cyclone in which year in which year was it hit by a cyclone 1998 1999 2000 none of these when was it hit when was it hit so our teacher sanskrit you'll be like <laughs> no i i mean uh, uh, i can i can tell a lot of uh, you know mantras yeah i know a lot of mantras <laughs> i belong to a brahmin family so i know <laughs> let's go it was 1999 is the right answer guys so uh, odisha was hit by a cyclone in the year 1999 okay good job people let's see the leaderboard we have we have dark devil i mean at the top mouse is again back okay so dark devil i mean the mouse anshika rai saint elmo albert einstein tanmay prasad manjari raunak uf tun 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 the tun tun anti you know the tun tun anti ka the laddu in chora bim you mean that tun tun <laughs> tarun seven sir seventh and then shreyans good job guys good job now comes the next question guys come on let's go fourth question for all of you in five Four, three, two, one. Let's go! Come on. Let's go! Let's go! Cyclone warning is issued when? Twenty hours in advance, twenty-four hours in advance, twelve hours in advance. None of the above. When is cyclone? Uh, you know, issued. Warning is issued. When is it? When is it? Chota be my favorite. Acha palak. Nice, nice palak. but i don't understand so when we were you know when we were kids i always tell this there was this cartoon called as popoy popoy the sailor man that that cartoon was there and you know uh, same he used to eat spinach so he used to have spinach and he used to break the spinach and eat it he used to get strength and of course spinach is very good for health right but nowadays there is laddu chota bhi meets laddu and he gets energy If you eat laddu, you will not become chota bean. You will become mota bean. <laughs> All right, don't do it. Eat spinach. Eat fruits, vegetables, something healthy. All right. Yes. Next one. Read a board. <clears throat> so we have Amen, the mouse. Anshika Rai, Albert Einstein, Tanmay Prasad, Raunak, Manjari, Shreyan, Saurabhi, and Bhavan. Good job, good job. There is all. Ah, uh, Motu eats samosa. It seems. Yes, if you eat samosa, you'll become healthier. <laughs> My God, what is this? What is this? What? Where is this cartoon world going? You guys have to protest. You guys have to protest and ask them for good cartoons, guys. What is this? Ask them. Question number five of seven in three, two, one. Let's go, guys. the winds from ocean carry water and bring rain these winds are called what the winds which bring uh, 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 rains what are those winds called typhoon monsoon cyclone none of this let's go let's go what's the code the code is 13032250 computer ji is telling guys hit like for our master teacher mohan sir see you guys don't do only it's computer ji Conjures people they are. They'll come to class, they laugh, they learn, and then go sleep. That's all. It is monsoon winds, guys. Monsoon winds are the right answer. They bring the rain. Okay, so that the same thing. 
when the when the sea breeze comes the sea breeze uh, uh, you know also brings water with it those are monsoon winds okay amen we have krit mouse anshika rai albert einstein tanmay manjari shreyan saurabhi bhavan and star locks rest in peace guddu guddu comes back guddu always comes back six question guys in 5 4 3 2 1 let's go my brother hacked so i beat him acha nice the center of cyclone is a dash the center of cyclone is dash calm area moving area both a and b none of this the center of the cyclone is what maine chowmin khai acha good it is it's a very calm area right because there is it's 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 a area of very low pressure it's a calm area okay good job acha rahi love samosa nice nice okay we have aman anshika mouse and albert einstein abhishek saurabhi bhavan charita himika anshul sharma pro acha Saint Elmo, good job, guys. One last question for all of you. All right, in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Come on, guys. One last question of the class. Let's go. Increased wind speed causes what? Increased wind speed does not affect air pressure. Reduces air pressure. Increases air pressure. None of the above. Increased wind speed dash. Sir, give me tips, sir. keep preparing work hard you know a uh, focus on it and aim for only that you will get it theek hai nayasa bottle sir is having what is nayasa well, this is from dmart it's quechua not promoting they they, they didn't pay me to promote so i am not <laughs> <laughs> high speed wind reduces air pressure guys okay simple high speed winds are always accompanied by reduced air pressure what is this don't forget all right so good job guys we have aman anshika rai mouse abhishek sarabhi bhavan charita himika saint elmo tanmay good job and we get we have aman at the top good job aman anshika and kriti good try guys yes great so since he has won guys subscribe to his channel if he has a channel and all of you guys you have all done amazingly well all right and if your name is not there on the leaderboard don't sit and cry it's okay happens next time try to get your name on the leaderboard all right but all that matters is if you got all the questions right if you got all the questions right then good job all right next let us now quickly go back to the slides and also show you guys the homework once again the riddle is here all of you guys so uh, please put your answers for this riddle right below in the chat box I mean in the comment section. Okay, so yes, I hope all of please make for class eight also. We'll do every Mondays for class eight, guys. Every Mondays for class eight. Every Saturday for uh, for all the uh, for all the grades. If you want to know what happened to Guddu, come to the class on Saturday also. The story continues. Guddu and sharks stomach. All right, I'll see you guys all in the next class. So until then, this is me, Mohan, signing off. All of you, take care, stay safe, and stay as lovely as always. You guys are, and have a good night, guys. Bye bye. and do not forget to subscribe like and also share my video to all of your friends all right bye bye